Hello everybody, and welcome to Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut, Chow Help Part 7. Um, this is gonna be our neutral swim nun Chow. First of all, I have to say, this is the Chow that, um, has the lowest swim rank by one. Sleet has 12... Sleet has 1281, and she has 1280. It was so close. Anyway, like I said, this is gonna be a plain Chow, and, um... I wanted her to have a plain name, but I wanted it to be so outstanding, I thought it fit perfectly for her. And all of a sudden, I get the name Sarah, and I think of the book that I read as a child, Sarah Plain and Tall, and I'm like, okay, this is gonna be her name. Like, from the minute I read it, I was, I almost wanted to close the poll right there and not get any more suggestions just because I didn't want anything to top it, because it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Now, like I said, um... One thing that I want to go over quickly, actually. You will not need any animals for raising the nun chow. Um, these are just animals from the last time. The elephant, and the deer, and the bunnies. You will not need any animals. All you need is fruit. This part is going to be rather short, I think. Eight minutes at the most, because... Um, oh yeah, and we're raising her with tails. Because if I were to show you... Her getting to level 99 in stamina, this would be a 40 to 50 minute part, or longer. Hey, Sarah, calm down. I'm about to let you go in a minute. Anyway, so I'm going to feed her some fruit because, um, I want to explain some things about the fruit. First of all, every fruit gets you four points in stamina. See, one yellow, when it blinks yellow and then goes red, I just call those points. One fruit gets you four points. Um... You can buy any fruit from the shop, and it will also get you four points. It, I know Chow Fruit, it looks like a Chow's head, and it gets you one point in everything every time she withers it down. So that's four points in everything. Or maybe that's just in the sequel to this game. But, um... And then secondly... Hmm. I had one thing that I really wanted to talk about with this fruit here. Oh, yeah. Um, I told you if they stopped, like gobbling the fruit down, that's when they were not hungry anymore. I lied. When they're not hungry anymore, they will just throw the fruit away. I don't know what I was saying. They'll throw the fruit away. In this case, I'm gonna have to give her um, fruit regardless of if she's hungry or not. It shouldn't really affect her happiness. I don't know if it will or not, but if she starts dying when she gets to be six, or five or six, there's a way to stop her from dying, and I will show that off with a Chow on a different memory card, because I don't want to let any of these Chow die or reincarnate. Yeah, see, that's where she's full. But I'm going to have to continue feeding her anyway to get to level 99. So that's why this would be a long part, because she's just going to keep throwing it away and throwing it away and throwing it away. But I have to be... It's like, so this Chow and all Chow who just need the fruit are some of the easiest, yet hardest chow to raise, because it takes the least amount of effort just picking up a fruit and feeding it to her, but it takes the most amount of time and patience, because it's just really frustrating sometimes if they won't eat the fruit like they're supposed to. And yeah, she actually won't look any different from this, won't look much different from this. That's why I said she's plain, because she really doesn't she looks like she did when she first evolved. There's nothing really extraordinary about her. It's like we've already seen it, but I still love her. So yeah, I'm gonna cut now, and I'll see you guys when she's level 99. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Bye. Hey guys, and we're back, and the reason this part is up so late is because I had to spend, like, all day getting her stamina up. As you see, that miserably failed, and she's level 25 in stamina instead of level 99. She's gonna be, like, more of a work in progress, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is her full form. This is what she will look like forever. Um, she looks a little different. Her ears are longer. They're more stood back. Her, um, wings are a little bigger. Um, oh, and one thing, I've confirmed. This will be my last video until the 17th? Yeah, the 17th. And, um, oh, hey, there's Aurora. No, that's not Aurora. That's, uh, Dirk. And then there's our new Chow. That's going to be the next one we'll be raising. And so, um... And then there's Slippy. 
what I want to say here is I'm going to give you some tips to, um, how to make this chow really quick. When they're a baby and they haven't even evolved their first evolution yet, feed them a ton of fruit. Feed them fruit first and then like after about two hours, then start trying to get them up in whatever they're actually supposed to be in because this did not work out at, at all and I had left her in the garden for too long and so today I spent like an hour more in the garden and all of a sudden she started reincarnating and she was only like level 30 so I had to reset it and I hadn't gone out of the garden so I lost an hour of progress and after that I was just like you know what I might have to redo the chow I'll uh you know do something with that I'll raise her stamina later but you know I just couldn't spend all day on it it would like be up tomorrow because it had been such a long time already I worked for two or three hours on it last night, and I worked an hour this morning, and I only got her to level 33, and I suppose I could have gotten her higher if I had really tried more, but, um, yeah, that's where she is, but I just want to show you guys what she looks like, and what she will look like forever now. Oh, hey, Slippy's finally up. So here we have our family of five. Where is Sleep? Geez, Sleep's all the way up here, and everyone else is down there swimming. Sleep just sort of seems like, you know, the too cool for family kind of guy. And everybody else is like this big happy family, and he's just sort of like the aggressive, rebellious teenager. So Slippy and Aurora are the parents, and then, um, let's see, Slippy, like I said, he's the too cool for family, aggressive, rebellious teenager, and then Dirk is sort of like the jock teenager who's heavy, but he's really strong, and then Sarah over here. Let's see, what can Sarah be? She can just be sort of, you know, like the plain normal sister who... Let's see... Plain normal sister who... Having a tough time coming up with this scenario. All the others were easy because, you know, they match their personality, but... Aurora's different. Oh yeah, he's flying! You go, sleep! I love how he turns around, runs into the wall, and lands in the water. Um... Yay, now the whole swim family's swimming! Yeah, I'll, I'll make up scenarios for every different family. Um, this is the Neutral Swim family. We also have Hero Swim and Dark Swim, but those will be later. Uh, yeah. Sarah. What can she be? She can just be Sarah plain and tall, and she's like the normal, stereotypical sister who... You know, isn't that exciting. She's not a nerd, but she's really smart, and... Let's see... She's really smart, she gets good grades, and all of a sudden she's asked, asked out by, like, the jock to prom or something. But the main jock is Dirk, so, like, the second jock. Um, yeah, and she leaves, like, a completely normal life, and she's a lawyer or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's fun creating scenarios and stories for your chow. Yeah, he's dumb. You see how dumb he is? He's swimming into the, um, rock. Dirk, you're not gonna get in there. You can go stand over here. Anyway, yeah, so once again, I want to apologize for how late this video is up, um, because it should have been up, like, 12 hours ago, but, oh well, um, this will be the last time I see you until the 17th, I'm taking a five-day break, because we've reached a milestone in the Chow walkthrough so far, it's been a week, and so that's how it's gonna go from now on, it'll be a week on of making a family, I'll take a week to make one family, and then... After that, I'll take a five-day break. And then don't forget to ch tune into our special mystery Let's Play on July 20th. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.